Good evening. Dr. Martin Luther King, the apostle of nonviolence in the civil rights movement, has been shot to death in Memphis, Tennessee. Dr. King was standing on the balcony of a second floor hotel room tonight when, according to an, a companion, a shot was fired from across the street. In the friend's words, the bullet exploded in his face. There can be no justice without peace, and there can be no peace without justice. I believe absolutely that justice is indivisible, and injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. We must continue to stand up, and we must continue to follow the dictates of our conscience, even if that means breaking unjust laws. That non-cooperation with evil is as much a moral obligation as is cooperation with good. And I do not plan to cooperate with evil at any point. Ultimately, a genuine leader is not a such a for consensus, but he's a molder of consensus. And on some positions, Howard is asked the question, is it safe? Expediency asks the question, is it politic? Vanity asks the question, is it popular? But conscience asks the question, is it right? And there comes a time when one must take a position that is neither safe, not politic, not popular, but he must do it because conscience tells him it is right. And that is where I stand today, and that is where I hope you will continue to stand so that we can speed up the day when justice will roll down like waters all over the world and righteousness like a mighty stream. And we will speed up the day when men will beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. And nations will not rise up against nations, neither will they study war anymore. And I close by saying, as we sing it in the old Negro spiritual, I ain't gonna study war no more.